Hey everyone, Ken Carlson here with Country Guitar Chops. And on this lesson, which isn't so much a lesson, I'm just going to talk about fake fingernails. I get a lot of emails from guys wondering what I use and, uh, you know, asking for advice on that. And what I've used in the past was a, an acrylic, cheap acrylic stuff you buy at, like, you know, Walmart or something like that. And, and I thought it was probably the best thing, you know, shy of going to a, uh, a, a beauty shop. Um, it worked for many years. It would last me a couple weeks and then break off and or lift off and pop off, which I thought was okay. Although I've had them pop off in the middle of a set, you know, and that's not so good. So I got to keep a tube of super glue with me to glue them back on. Well, one of the reasons I haven't been making videos in a while is because I developed a very very nasty fingernail fungus, you know, fungus under my nails, and it was ungodly, uh, pretty pretty disgusting looking. So I didn't even want to make any videos till it kind of cleared up a little bit. Uh, but anyway, so when this happened, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit and asking around to different you know nail techs, uh, and one of them said, "Oh, you're allergic to the acrylic, and you're." fingernails are going to fall off because of the fungus. Uh, one of the nails here, let me put them down here, see if you can see them. Um, kind of hard to tell now, but but they lifted from the bed. Uh, it's, they're starting to grow back, but, uh, but they lifted from the bed. I mean, they were just brown and nasty looking. So anyway, uh, she says, yeah, you're going to your fingernails are going to fall off. And I read up on them and I heard horror stories, read horror stories, how people's fingernails would fall off and never go back. So, so I kind of went into panic mode there for a little bit. Uh, what I wound up trying was gels, which I had heard gels were just going to be too soft. And I went to Sally's Beauty Supply, and uh, the gal that hooked me up with the first batch of stuff I got, uh, she didn't know what she was doing, and she, she hooked me up with the wrong stuff. I spent, <laughs> I spent quite a bit of money on stuff that didn't work. Sure enough, it was too soft. Uh, uh, I mean, I could take my other fingernails and almost peel it away. And it would it didn't strengthen my nails really that much. So the, I went back again to see, you know, in a desperate attempt to try something else. And I ran into another lady who informed me that I had the wrong stuff. Um, so I want to share with you what I've got because I'm really happy with this uh, gel that I'm using now. I put, uh, I put it on one time, it's been over a month ago, and I finally just redid them again today. They don't fall off. Uh, they grow out, they're strong, very strong, stronger than the acrylic. So I'm very, very happy with them. So I'm gonna share with you what I use. Um, first of all, the gel itself. Um, this is called Builder Gel, and it's by a brand IBD, Builder Gel Clear. Let me put it down here, see if I can put that in the camera for you. Uh, about 20 bucks a little bottle here, and it's just a real thick, clear gel, I guess, uh, that you put on your fingernails, and then you have to put your fingers under a UV lamp. Um... The stuff that the first gal sold me was not the body, uh, not the builder gel. I think it was just called clear something, and it was just too soft. So that's the stuff you want to get, the builder gel. And then also the lamp that the other gal sold me was a little two, three watt lamp. It was like 20 bucks. Uh, it wouldn't dry it. The stuff <laughs> just wouldn't dry it. It was, it was terrible. So I had to spend $50 for this lamp here. This is a 9 watt, uh, I can't even pronounce the name, Osiris or something. Um, but it's a 9 watt, and I can definitely feel as soon as I stick my nails under there that uh, I can feel the heat from this one. Uh, this was a, it's, it's working out well. Between the two of them, these are working out really well. I'm really happy with the way it's, oops with the way things are going right now uh, as far as this stuff. I'll keep you informed if something changes, but if you're one of the guys that are interested in putting, uh, using the fake nails like I do, uh, and the reason I do is because my fingers 
are so soft, they'll just rip off within within a couple seconds if I don't use some something to strengthen them up with. Um, so if you're one of the guys that want to try that, I, instead of the acrylics, I would recommend the gels with the right kind of gels. Now, I buy this stuff because I, you know, if I break a nail or something, I want to be able to, if I break a nail or just before I go to the gig, I, I want to be able to do it myself. Uh, for most of you guys, you'd probably just, if you go down to a beauty salon, I think they only charge like $5 a finger or something like that. You know, and if it lasts for like these did up to a, up to a month for me, um, that may be feasible for, for many of you. So I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video.